Madison High School is under fire for an alleged bullying situation that happened on a bus carrying the Madison Bobcat baseball team. A sophomore on the team is coming forward to tell his story of what he says happened on that bus to him and his teammates. Esme Carriega talked with Dustin Parkinson and his parents about the incident and what they'd like the school district to do. Esme? Well, Jay Carroll, Madison High School was recognized two years ago at the National Conference on Bullying for their efforts to reduce bullying. However, the Parkinson family says the school is not living up to that honor. The excitement, you know, the adrenaline of, you know, and learning life lessons. You know, seven out of times you're going to strike out and, you know, you learn from that. Same thing in life. What Dustin Parkinson didn't know was that he was going to strike out with the new high school baseball team. Dustin started his baseball career like any other kid, barely big enough to hold a bat. At a young age, he knew he wanted to play. His parents supported their son and put him in t-ball. With almost 10 years under his belt, it seemed Dustin's dream of playing college ball was getting closer until he joined the current team. And uh, there's not a lot of brotherhood. I know the teams are played on. There's a lot of brotherhood. We respect each other. We don't make fun of each other. He recounts a bus incident that he says was brushed underneath the rug by the school. What I saw, uh, he was he, he was a kid who was held down while he was sleeping, and uh, another kid pulled down his pants and put his private parts on uh, and, uh, the kid that was sleeping. Dustin regrets not standing up then but feared team retaliation. So I was scared that if I said say something and get back to you know the head coach or whatever and then I'd I'd be uh, what's the word punished for you know standing up. However a new incident on the very same bus gives Dustin a second chance. And then uh, I was showing inappropriate things on the back of the bus and I came and I went back up to the front of the bus. The inappropriate thing Dustin is referring to is another student flashing his private parts. When Dustin's parents heard of their son's experience, they got involved and contacted school administrators. I'm curious what Madison High School is doing. Um, you know, all the kids were interviewed by the PD, so I know the police department, you know, I trust they're going to do their job. Dustin's parents say it's important for people to know about the bullying. Teaching your kids the right thing, knowing, you know, when to stand up and when not to let something get brushed under the rug. Um, I trust that if we don't do something here, no one's going to know what went on and what happens two years from now. His parents say they are standing by their son. It's great that he's able to, you know, stand up and feel comfortable that he can, even with, you know, the consequences that may follow and the things that he may lose and may have to give up, that he's still able to stand up. And even after everything that's happened, Dustin still has high hopes for his future in baseball. Dustin says the situation will not stop him from wanting to play college baseball later on, and he's been trying out for other teams. Live from the studio, I'm Esme Curiega. Okay, thank you, Esme. In a statement from the assistant uh, superintendent, Randy Lords, it reads in part, after a thorough high school investigation, the students involved have been disciplined according to district policy and rules. We are not permitted to release student names or discuss specific consequences. In addition to responding appropriately, we are wanting to prevent incidents like this from happening again. We have put into place safeguards that include additional training of all faculty, staff, and students. The Rexburg Police Department is continuing its investigation to see if any actual laws were broken in this case.